I think the view really is um, it's all about the location. Um, I think uh, in the right locations, uh, commercial office towers work. Uh, likewise, in other locations, it's not really appropriate. I think particularly in terms of the pinnacle, uh, being in the heart of the uh, financial district in the City of London, uh, it is appropriate to have a commercial office tower in that location. Um, whereas perhaps in other parts of London, probably wouldn't be appropriate. So I think as a starter, that's what I would, uh, I would actually advocate. It really follows along with uh, Peter Rees, the, the Chief Planning Officer of the City of London, in his views, that it's forming clusters, um, which certainly the City of London has been well established in terms of that. So for that particular example, yes, I think it is appropriate. I mean, to add to that, I think it also means that we need to look beyond just how we deal with residential and commercial buildings, especially towers. And I think there needs to be a bit of a change in terms of the planning approach and the planning rules. Um, this issue of all the rights, right of light and everything, in terms of residential, we can sterilize between commercial zones, we have clusters, and residential zones, we tend to be low rise. And which also means that you have lack of redevelopment. That needs to change. If that doesn't change, then I think we'll be, you know, you'll have a real issue in terms of trying to change your views and migrating residential into a commercial zone like the city. But I think there needs to be a change there that allows buildings in the city to function while having some, some residential use. Mm -hmm. So that would be my take on it, really. Yeah, I, I sort of agree in that I think we need to be it's very difficult, but we need to be able to adapt our buildings because it's cyclical as well. So if we just focus on the residential shortage, you know, potentially in 10 to 15 years we'll have a shortage in commercial buildings, and then we'll focus on those. So, so I think it's about balance. And we can't really predict what's going to happen in the future. Um, so the question that I think we all face is do we try and um, design our buildings for maximum adaptability? Um, which is why we have such a large sort of historic building stock. Or do we accept that that's almost too difficult and design them for a shorter life? My personal view is that we should be um, designing them holistically and with an approach to flexibility and adaptability. In tall buildings, it's quite difficult to do that. Um, but I think the more we learn about how tall buildings function and how they, from my perspective, need to be structured, um, and the more knowledge we have about that, the more flexible we can become.